and somebody looks at it, you are very proud in as much as you are preaching. While Jesus is looking, he's saying, did I die for this? Was I crucified for this? Crucified in front of his mother. For somebody to come and stand on a Sunday and preach a message of receive your car. Crucified while his mother is watching. For somebody to come and stand on a Sunday and keep on repeating, we are coming out of Egypt, we are going to Israel. When are we going to go to that Canaan? Believers that have no backbone. It is a single problem. They are back into the world. Why? Because we have believers, we have preachers that have no backbone. When evidence is shown, people cannot be shaken. Doesn't it hit your heart to look at the generation and see that whatever we are celebrating is not the standard of God? It's not the standard of God. If you ask certain people, when last did they read their Bible, you will be surprised. Conference after conference, no transformation. No transformation. We, we, we are busy organizing world conferences, but still people are poor. Why? Because there is something we are missing and there is something we are lacking. When presidents look, they laugh. Is this the place I can go to worship? That's why you see them, they are religious. To an extent, they go to those places where they just sit. They, they, they do a mass and they come out. Because they have not seen relevance. Where are people like Joseph? Men who would be, recog would be recognized in a nation. Oh, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. May the Holy Spirit come upon you and may he reveal dimensions that will be important to nations. There is no prophet in the Bible who stood, if you read the whole of your Bible, who stood and was busy gathering people to prophesy. Every prophet in the Bible, they were governmental prophets. They advised kings. Oh God, yes. All prophets in the Bible, they controlled governments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have prophets, what they are fighting for is not making sure that the kingdoms of this world are, have become the kingdom of our God. They are fighting to say, you took my name. That was the name of my church. You took my member. You took my style. You took the way I prophesied. And God is saying, what I want are nations in my hands. What I wonder, nations, there is something more. With the message that we preach, are we sure that a billionaire can sit the whole service and listen to what we are talking about? 